Welcome to episode four of my physical wellness journey. I appreciate you tuning in. Just to get a little bit real and like, you know, hopefully somebody will see this that needs to see this, that needs to, you know, have a story they could relate to. So growing up, I always was a little bit on the chubbier side. I always kind of had an issue with keeping my weight in check. And I wouldn't say I was, uh, I wouldn't say I was necessarily self-conscious about my weight for the most part. A lot of people have that period where they're just effortlessly in shape. You know, for me, that never really was the case. And at any time in my life where I was in shape, I either had to really bust my ass for it or I was I was only I only appeared to be in shape because I was very unhealthy in the in terms of my drug use and because I wasn't eating enough because I was too busy doing drugs and and I was just malnourished. It wasn't so much, you know, like there's been times in my life where people have been like, "Wow, what are you doing? You look good." And it like the truth is I was just doing hard drugs. So I was always disrespecting my body in one regard or another. Uh, from a very young age, as soon as I found out that I liked to get high, I just was always consuming things that were not good for my health. And my diet has never been necessarily healthy. I've always kind of eaten foods that are terrible for me. So it's been a constant uphill battle. You know, I'm not delusional. I've never been like... You know, you see these shows on TV, 600 pound, my 600 pound life and stuff like that. I've never been on that level, but it's just always been something where like, if I don't watch myself, I do get overweight. And now that I'm in my thirties, it's worse than it's ever been. And you know, when I, when I first was, when I was 29, about to be 30 is when it really came to a head and I realized I had to do something. So I'm on, like, right now, the longest streak I've ever been on of, like, consistently consistently working out, like, working out, like, meaning that I'm doing cardio, I'm lifting weights, and for the most part, eating healthy, believe it or not, like, even though, you know, it, it's hard to believe, like, this is the truth, for the better part of this year... I've been eating healthy except for like, like this is what's crazy. Like, like even if I eat completely healthy Monday through Thursday and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I kind of just go, I go off the rails enough to like completely destroy that progress, even with being active. So like what I mean is like I'm in the gym lifting weights three days a week without fail And I'm usually doing cardio outside of the gym at least twice a week, right? And like, and I'll eat healthy in a caloric deficit, all clean food, Monday through Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I would kind of just eat whatever I wanted. And I managed to gain back 28 pounds from August, no, from like September of 2022 Until about probably either May or June of this year. I went and weighed in at 228. And I was 200 back in September of 2022. So in eight months, I put on 28 pounds and literally was eating healthy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in a caloric deficit clean foods four days out of the week and I managed to blow up 28 pounds and I just was like a mess bro like I didn't feel good I was like I was bloated like just like you know my physical like I got personal trainers bro and and they're looking at me like like, they got to be thinking that I'm just eating whatever I want all week. And I swear, I got no reason to lie about it. I'm sitting here, like, literally meal prepping all week long. And even, that's the thing, like, Friday, I would still eat healthy in the morning and afternoon. And I would have, like, a cheat meal at night. 
And then Saturday and Sunday, I'd basically eat whatever I wanted. And doing that, I gained 28 pounds. And it's like embarrassing because I'm busting my ass in the gym. Like, like I, like I swear, I go hard in the gym. And like still to still be gaining weight like that, it's crazy. Like, and you wouldn't think it's possible. I don't think when I was like 18 and like early 20s, even mid 20s, I don't think that would have been happening to me if I was busting my ass when I'm busting my ass and only really having like, if you think about it, it's one cheat meal Friday, maybe two cheat meals Saturday and maybe two. Che- so five cheat meals a week is enough to screw up your whole week is what I'm saying. I guess that's like how my metabolism changed from being in my 20s to my 30s. And what I'll say is, it is what it is. All I can do is like, so what I've been doing now is uh, I completely switched up my diet and like, I already was eating clean, but now I'm on another level of eating clean. And what I mean by that is like, I'm reading every ingredient and in what I'm eating and I'm not eating anything that's got preservatives in it or additives. Like I won't put anything in my body that's not a whole food. Do I still have cheat meals? Yes. I do, but I don't have cheat days at all anymore. So my process really is the way that it changed is that when I was having these, basically you can call them binges all year long is I'd eat super healthy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday morning and afternoon. And then Friday night, it was like pizza, wings, and then like ice cream. And then Saturday morning, I'd start off right off the bat and I get like two, like an everything bagel with cream cheese. And then an everything bagel, a bacon, egg and cheese on an everything bagel would be my breakfast. So two bagels, one, one with the egg sandwich, one with cream cheese. And then, you know, I, all my coffee, all, by the way, all my coffee would have a, sugar in it, like, I'd get, like, whatever, um, like, French vanilla creamer or whatever in my coffee, so add that sugar to the mix, and that's what was messing, if you saw, like, the earlier episodes of this, I was talking about my liver enzymes, I believe that having all that sugar in my coffee added to that, too, and then, um, so you got that, and then, and then for lunch, if I wanted to go get an Italian hero, I'd have a hero, or if I wanted to have, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, I could have pizza again. I'm a fiend for pizza. Then dinner, I'd go out to uh, whatever restaurant I wanted to go to. We could order appetizers, entrees, desserts. And then probably in the middle of the night, even on that Saturday, I could end up eating Taco Bell or McDonald's or something like that. And then Sunday, same thing. All day eating. All day having bagels and pizzas and cheeseburgers and fast food like so yeah you could really do damage just having too many cheat meals there's people that diet and i believe it like you could be dieting and really watching what you eat all week long and then destroy all your progress and still gain weight on the weekends and think wow there's something wrong with me you know, I just can't lose weight. It's not that you can't lose weight. It's like you got to be even more diligent. And like that's what, so I gained back. Let me get back to what I was saying. So I gained back 28 pounds. And then after I got my test results back in July, I started taking it seriously again. So I guess July is when I probably weighed in um, 228. And then I cut everything out. From July till right now, it's like it's September 2nd as I'm recording this. And uh, down to, I weighed in at 208. So I'm down 20 pounds from whatever the date was in July. I want to say it was early July. So let's just say July, August. So like in two months, I'm down 20 pounds again. And the only difference is, yeah, I still have cheat meals, but I'm not like, all weekend long having three cheat meals plus dessert like 
And when I do che- have cheat meals now, I try not to like add in like the ice cream and the sh- extra sugar after because that's what's really killing my liver. Like, I, like my purpose for being this stri- like strict on myself is because I want to be healthy. I don't want. I want to make sure when I get my my test results that they're gonna come back perfect. So, and plus, I feel so much better. I just feel better when I take care of myself. I have more energy. Uh, I just all around feel better about myself and I feel, I feel it in the gym. Like I'm able to get more done and like, that's like the biggest sense of accomplishment for me. So like, that's like the purpose for this wellness journey. And like, I just want it to be known that like, and, and because of this, like I've become more conscious of what I'm putting into my body. Like, like that whole thing with looking at the ingredients and making sure I don't have additives and preservatives and all that stuff that's going into my body is because I started to like really look into what I'm doing and, and, because when I was first having this really restrictive diet to try to take this weight off and to try to get my test results down, I felt my energy levels going down. I was getting the results that I wanted, but I felt weaker in the gym. I felt my stamina decreasing. I just didn't feel good. And then when I started looking at what I'm putting into my body and I started saying, you know what, I got to make sure that I'm still getting enough sugar in my diet, but I'm going to get it from natural sources like fruits and you know things like that. And so when I started switching that part of my diet up, I started to immediately feel better. My stamina became better than it ever was. I, I, my strength in the gym got so much better than it ever was. And the results still kept on coming. So, you know, I honestly believe this is the best move I've made. So leave a comment if you want to know more about exactly what the diet I've been on consists of. You know, uh, you know, definitely leave a comment if you relate to any part of my experience or if it was helpful to you. Definitely want to know that. And if you have any specific questions at all, just leave a comment. I want to address everything in future videos. Definitely subscribe to make sure you don't miss any future episodes of this physical wellness journey, which I'm going to keep releasing every single week. And again, I appreciate you guys tuning in.